Now, Singapore's central bank plans to regulate the trading of cryptocurrency derivatives like Bitcoin futures. The Monetary Authority of Singapore outlined the proposed changes in a consultation paper released today. Now, the move aims to reduce the rising interest in cryptocurrencies from retail investors. Singapore's central bank says the proposed regulations on the trading of payment token derivatives could soon be regulated under the Securities and Futures Act. These include Bitcoin futures, which are products that trade the future price of the cryptocurrency. Payment tokens are digital assets used for transactions, such as popular cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and Ethereum. While derivatives products obtain their value from price fluctuations within the asset, hence they are considered riskier. The new measures are expected to kick in come June next year. MAS regulated financial institutions will have to raise the margin required for contracts offered to retail investors and brokers will need to post risk warnings and restrict on the social media marketing and other advertisements of such products. Market players say it is timely for MAS to start regulating such assets which are deemed as volatile and risky. And if you take an example of Bitcoin and how they trade it in the marketplace, last year, as you know, it hit, uh, it hit a high of 20,000. At the beginning of this year, you know, Bitcoin dropped to 4,000. You imagine if you're a retail investor bought at 14,000 and you leveraged up to buy at 14,000, you would have lost a lot of money. So I think the measures that's being introduced by MAS right now, I think, are prudent because it tells the retail investors that, you know, that uh, it is a highly leveraged product and it's a very volatile uh, trading instrument. Beyond providing safeguards for investors, an investor association says that such a regulatory ruling can provide new opportunities for the Singapore exchange. We are a, a you know, financial hub and for developing Singapore as a financial hub, you need to actually have these products which will be available in other markets and uh, investors will start looking elsewhere to do you know, investments in this derivative. So, we might as well have it, but have it with, uh, you know, uh, some safeguards. This is a new product for SGX and can expect some liquidity. We are looking at various ways to increase liquidity. This is one way.